Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely little wedding cake with a bloody surprise on the inside. I came up with the idea for this cake when I had a double feature with my friend Casey for our podcast movie matchup. This was our Bloody Brides double feature where we watched Kill Bill and Ready or Not, and I thought it would be fun to make a wedding cake that would bleed when you cut into it. Kind of like a piñata cake, but instead of being filled with candy, it's filled with blood. Unfortunately, my first attempt at this cake was a spectacular failure, but after some tweaking, I finally achieved the effect I was looking for. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. At least a day in advance, you'll want to make the blood filling, which is actually a raspberry coulis. So take a 12 ounce bag of frozen raspberries and set it out on the counter to thaw. After a few hours, your raspberries should be thawed and nice and squishy. So you'll just need a strainer, a bowl, and a spatula to make your coulis. Dump the thawed raspberries into the strainer and use the spatula to mash the raspberries through the strainer as much as possible. This is going to take a little while so be sure you're ready for an arm workout. And when the raspberry mash in the strainer starts to look a little dry, like it's not giving up juice, be sure to scrape the last of the pulp from the bottom and then set it aside. Now you're just going to add sugar to taste. I used about a scant half a cup. And then we want this mixture to be a little bit thicker, so transfer to a small saucepan and set that over medium-high heat. You'll want to simmer until it's reduced by about 25% and noticeably darker. It took mine about 5 minutes to get there. Allow it to cool and then transfer it to a receptacle that's a couple inches smaller in diameter than the cake you plan to make, lined with plastic wrap. So I'm using a 3 inch ramekin and a 6 inch cake pan. Pour the raspberry coulis in and then move it to the freezer to set. Now I made a lemon white cake and vanilla buttercream for my cake. I'm not going to go over the recipe here because it actually doesn't matter what kind of cake you make, but I'll share the recipe on my blog linked below if you'd like to make this exact cake. I also tried to show you guys how to make buttercream flowers, uh, but I had some trouble getting my autofocus to work, and there were also other interruptions. Yes? Mm hmm. I'm kind of busy. But I'll throw some links to better buttercream flower how to videos in the description box below. Once you have all the pieces of your cake, it's time to assemble. First, you'll want to apply a thin layer of buttercream to two of your cake layers. This is going to act as a protective barrier to keep the cake from soaking up the raspberry. Set those in the fridge until the buttercream is no longer sticky to the touch. Next, it's time for the blood. Remove the frozen coulis from the plastic wrap lined container and set it on the bottom cake layer. Clearly this was a little easier said than done. Now we essentially want to create a buttercream dam to prevent the raspberry from oozing out as it thaws. Add your second cake layer on top, buttercream side down. Mm -hmm. 
and fill in any gaps with more buttercream. Then once again, we need a thin protective layer of buttercream on top of the second and third cake layer. After another chill in the fridge, we just do the same thing with the second layer. Just remember to put your third cake layer on buttercream side down. Nope, not like that. There you go. And it's time to decorate. I decided to do a naked cake effect here since there was so much buttercream in between the layers, it seemed better to have less on the side. This was 100% in intentional decision and not something that I did at the last minute because I was running out of buttercream and didn't have any more powdered sugar left in the house. Then I just decorated with my buttercream flowers. Now, I'll be honest, I am not the most experienced baker when it comes to traditional cakes. I very rarely make layer cakes in the first place and when I do, they are often in weird shapes like planets or brains or mogwai. So if this looks a little rudimentary to the more experienced cake decorators out there, please go easy on me. Uh, but you know, all in all, I think it came out pretty nice. Now we just need to make sure that the raspberry coolie has thawed, so transfer your cake to the fridge for a few hours or until ready to serve. Okay, the moment has come. It is time to cut into this baby. And despite my successful test cake, I couldn't help but think of my first failed attempt as I cut into this guy. But despite almost dropping the slice, it came out even better than I imagined. I apologize for the out of focus shot, but I wanted you guys to see just how giddy I was with how this came out. Okay, it's beautiful, it's gross, but how does it taste? I am admittedly a little biased because I love lemon cake, which is why that's what I made, but I think the raspberry coulis makes a great edible blood, and unlike a lot of syrup-based blood recipes, it's not going to be sickly sweet. It goes with a lot of different flavors, chocolate, vanilla, whatever you decided to make your cake. So if you guys like this how-to and want to see more recipes like this, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy baking!